deserves to win the Ballon d'Or. Messi's gonna win it. He's gonna win it. Let's Erling Haaland should win this award. Let's pick Messi just because he won the World Cup and was. Erling Haaland deserves to win. Yeah. Erling Haaland doesn't win this. Close the shop. They say Haaland's had it all. A season to remember. The English Premier League, the FA Cup, the UEFA Super Cup, and the Champions League trophy. Yet, something was missing. The coveted Ballon d'Or is slipping through his fingers like a mirage in the desert. Erling Haaland, over 50 goals, a Premier League title, uh, the FA Cup, the FA Cup, and the Champions League. Erling Haaland should win this award. Haaland is one of seven Manchester City players on the 30-man shortlist for the annual gong, which will be revealed in Paris on October 30th. For the first time in 20 years, there is no place on the list for five-time winner Cristiano Ronaldo, who spent 2023 playing in the Saudi Pro League. For the first time in 20 years, there is no Cristiano Ronaldo on this short list. But folks, there's plenty of time for the greatest footballer of all time, Lionel Messi. Erling Haaland has been told to snub the Ballon d'Or ceremony for life if he is not handed this year's award. Did Messi just steal Haaland's thunder? Shit, this is getting juicy. Do us all a favor, and if Erling Haaland doesn't win this, close the shop. Close the shop. Welcome to a special edition where we unravel the greatest football mystery of 2023. Why did Messi, against all odds, eclipse Erling Haaland's dream year? Are you Team Messi or Team Holland? Let's ignite this debate. Dive into the comments now with who you think will win. Flashback, August 17th, Messi at a presser. I've achieved everything in football. Now, I'm just savoring the moment. Typical of the football maestro, isn't it? But let's dissect this a bit. While Holland's debut in the Premier League resembled a storm, setting record after record, there was a catch. In the crucial games, the semis, the finals, the Norwegian prodigy seemed to vanish. The glaring fact? Zero goals and eight appearances during pivotal moments. That's right, eight. But hold on, it's not all gloom for Holland. Remember his explosive five goals against RB Leipzig? Holland! Again and again and again! It's getting silly! It is just crazy! He writes his own rules. He makes his own numbers. And yet, the media spotlight seemed to drift elsewhere to none other than Messi. Messi's year? A roller coaster. A spectacular stint with PSG, but an unexpected champion's exit. However, Messi's miracles were elsewhere, leading Argentina to World Cup glory, turning Inter Miami into North America's finest. The man was conjuring magic everywhere. That's what they came for! But let's talk influence. On Instagram, Messi's World Cup victory post shattered records with a mind-boggling 75 million likes. Holland's Champions League triumph, a respectable but comparatively meager 8.5 million. How does Messi do it? Miami's head coach, Gerardo Martino, reveals Leo is living his best life. You see it on the field. He's happier, more content. Messi's enchantment extends beyond the pitch. The buzz, the aura, the sheer magnetism he brings is unparalleled. Fans are willing to pay anywhere from a whopping $1,000 to an insane $20,000 just for a glimpse of this football sorcerer in action. What can he not do? We are watching greatness. In contrast, Holland's media charm is still budding. Although his on-field prowess is unquestionable, the magnetism, the stories, the narratives around Messi seem to be on another level. When asked about his impact in the U.S., Messi humbly responded, I don't think about growing the game that way. I'm here to play, to continue enjoying football. Classic Messi, always deflecting the spotlight, always about the game. And so, as the dust settles, it appears Messi's eighth Ballon d'Or might be on the horizon, making him the first to bring this honor to America. An ending befitting the GOAT? We think so. As for Holland, the future shines bright. His upcoming duels with the likes of Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. promises fireworks. Football enthusiasts, was Messi's potential 8th Ballon d'Or a poetic conclusion to a dramatic year or a twist in the tail? Hit that like button if you're as enthralled as we are. Until next time, this is Halftime Hops, where every angle tells a story. Subscribe, 
dive into more messy marvels, and remember, football is not just a game, it's an emotion. Cheers!